So where are we today and what are the perils? I b still believe in that triple shot. I still believe that the triple stand is real. That's why I started a company that can live in that intersection of good for society, good for patients, good for payers. What do I think that little tiny window is in American healthcare right now where you can do those three things? Okay, the group that we focus on are primary care docs. We think that from this transition from volume to value, most people are going to lose money. There's going to be a valley of death. You're going to need people to succeed in this who can convince their boards and have the resources and the ability to say, we're going to lose money before we make money. There is one group that's going to make more money on the way to making more money. Every system that pays less in total healthcare costs pays more on primary care. We know that, right? So primary care docs, if you partner with them, or buy them, or try to sell to them, that whole set of primary care focused plays say, we can make more, we can make you more money. We can make you more money today in more intense, more effective, more engaged, more informed primary care. Here's where the opportunity is, right? You go to those small practices and you say, come together, we'll create an accountable care organization, we'll put up the money up front, you become our partner. We're not trying to employ you, we're not trying to micromanage you, we're adding the layer of population health on top of what you already do, we're giving you data, we're giving you analytics, we're building interfaces to your EHRs, we're gonna give you actionable information and we're gonna put a coach in your practice who can talk to your office manager, talk to your clerk, say, how do we do like the five things you need to do to succeed in population health? The first thing we did was we said, you gotta reach out to some of your highest risk patients who you haven't seen in a long time and bring them in to see you. Don't wait for them to get sick. Reach out to them and make a proactive plan of care for them. And oh, by the way, Medicare in their wisdom makes it free for the patient and you can get actually a little paid a little bit more than you would for a regular office visit. They have never done that before. And after five years, no EHR in the market lets them do that. Make a list of patients or your highest risk patients who you have not seen in a while, go out and call them efficiently and track and monitor how you're doing and when Susie calls what happens and when George calls what happens. So we built a cloud-based tool we suck the data out of their practice management systems and their EHRs, and we analyze the data, and we make a list of patients, and we make a tool, and we go into the practices, and we coach them on how to call patients and bring them in. We give them a script. We tried to A-B test it, Kevin, and they said, uh, you can't tell Mary at the front desk who's been there for 30 years that she's got to read a script. <laughs> like, I loved the idea. We even built the architecture in the back end to be able to randomly flip in one script versus the other, and Mary, the battle axe who's been there at the front desk for 30 years was like, are you kidding me? 